The other day, I was talking to a neighbor about the Texas blackouts, and it turns out that we were both concerned that the same thing could happen to us as well. If you know anybody that was affected by the Texas blackouts, then you will know that it was far from being a pleasurable experience. They went days without power. And for a nation that depends on power for almost everything, that isn't something that anybody wants to go through. So that got me thinking, what do we do in the event of a blackout? Sure, they are rare, and the power often gets fixed pretty quickly, but the Texas blackouts are proof that sometimes, even the best laid plans fail. So what's the backup plan? Energy storage, solar storage to be precise. In the not too distant past, energy storage was the sort of thing that you only see in sci-fi movies. But thanks to technology, it is very much available now. So let's talk about one of the most popular energy storing devices that are out there, the Tesla Powerwall. I mean, let's be honest, is it even possible to talk about renewable energy without Tesla popping up in the conversation? Come on guys, what kind of conversation would that even be? So in this video, we will be talking about the Tesla Powerwall and whether or not it is the best solar battery that there is. Without wasting more time, let's dive right in. Let me start off by telling you about the Tesla announcement that the company would no longer be selling Powerwalls alone. This means that if you want a Powerwall, then you would have to install a Tesla solar panel or solar roof. Also, you no longer have the option of getting the solar panel or solar roof without the Powerwall. They both come hand in hand now, so if you want one, you would have to get the other. So, now let's talk about the price of the Powerwall. Tesla claimed in 2020 that the price of the Powerwall would drop before 2023, but that is yet to happen. In fact, the reverse is the case, as we've seen the price increase instead. So, how much does it cost? Well, the total cost, plus installation, is $10,500. However, if you install more than one Powerwall, the price drops. So, you would have something like this. One Powerwall, $10,500. Two power walls, 1700, three power walls, 23,500, four power walls, $30,000. You should keep in mind that because the demand for the power wall is so high and the company can't keep up with the demand, there is a significant waiting time between when you order the power wall and when you get it. Some people have reported waiting for an entire year before getting the power wall after they already placed the order. So, since the demand for the Powerwall is so high, it must be extraordinary, right? Well, let's take a look at some of the features of the Powerwall. Total energy capacity, 14 kilowatt hours. Usable energy capacity, 13.5 kilowatt hours. Continuous power rating, 5 kilowatts. Continuous. Peak power rating, 7 kilowatts. Round trip efficiency, 90%. Depth of discharge, 100%. Dimensions, 45.3 inch, by 29.6 inch by 5.75 inches. Weight, 251.3 pounds. Operating modes, solar self-consumption, time-based control, backup power. With a usable energy capacity of 13.5 kilowatt hours, the Powerwall gives you one of the best options that you can find when it comes to solar batteries for residential buildings. In comparison, Sonencore offers 10 kilowatt hours of usable energy capacity and LG offers only 9.3 kilowatt hours. So as you can see, the Powerwall is by far the winner when it comes to renewable energy. What's more, the Powerwall has three unique operating modes, which are the solar self-consumption mode, the time-based control mode, and the backup power mode. The impressive thing about these modes is that they allow you to select when and how you store and release energy in the Powerwall. Take the solar self-consumption mode, for example. You have the option of powering your home with renewable energy while storing excess solar power that is produced for use later. And the backup power mode allows you to use the power wall as an emergency battery backup in case of a blackout. What's more, the power wall can automatically detect a blackout. This is super impressive. And so far, the power wall is the only storage device that offers all three options. So without much ado, I can pronounce it is the clear cut leader in this category. You know that storage devices are basically useless without good batteries. So let's take a look at the Powerwall battery. And while we're at it, we'll also take a look at batteries of other brands and see just how well the Powerwall measures up to it. Once again, the Powerwall is in the lead here. The Powerwall clearly has a higher power rating. The only close competitor is the Sonnencore, 
But when you compare the price of the Powerwall Plus at 8500 to Sonnen Core's 9500, the Powerwall edges forward yet again, breaking things down. The higher power rating that the Powerwall comes with means that not only can it deliver more power to power more things in your home, but it can also power them for longer periods. So you don't have to make the tough decision between plugging in your fridge and watching television because you can do both. Next, let's talk about the warranty that you get when you purchase any one of these batteries. Of course, all three brands can last the regular 10 years. That's the bare acceptable minimum. But there's another detail to miss if you don't pay close attention. The Powerwall will operate at 70% capacity after lasting for 10 years or after it has released 37.8 megawatt hours of electricity, whichever one comes first. While this isn't exactly a bad deal, Sonnencore offers a better deal at 70% after 58 megawatt hours or 10 years. This is possible because unlike the Powerwall's battery chemistry of lithium, nickel, manganese, cobalt, Sonnencore's battery is made of lithium, iron, phosphate, which means that it will last longer than the Powerwall. And also because Sonnencore doesn't contain cobalt, it is less likely to catch fire, which is very important to consider when making your final decision. So in this category, the Powerwall falls behind Sonnencore. Now let's look at one of the most important determining factors, price. The Powerwall has the best price of all three brands that we're comparing in this video. You'll be paying $8,500 for the Powerwall before installation. So that comes to roughly $630 per kilowatt hour of storage capacity. The LG Chem, which has a less battery capacity than the Powerwall, costs about $736, and Sonnencare costs about $950. So in this category, the Powerwall wins again. When compared to Sonnencore and LG Chem, which are two of the best solar batteries available, the Powerwall proves to be superior. So I think it's safe to say that the Powerwall is the best solar battery there is. It has managed to hold its own against competitors. So it is no surprise that more than 200,000 Powerwalls have been installed so far. And the number is steadily rising every single day. The Tesla Powerwall is one of the most popular, if not the most popular, solar battery that you can get. And the long waiting list shows that I'm not alone in this opinion. A lot of people share this same opinion. And this explains how the company has managed to sell so many batteries and still has so many people waiting to get theirs. They know that they're getting excellent value for their money. In my opinion, even though there are other good solar batteries, Powerwall is the best there is. Do you agree with me? Do you think that there is a solar battery that performs better than the Powerwall? Let me know what you think in the comments section below. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it. Also, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on more engaging content like this. We'll see you in the next video.